Hello. Welcome to Case of the Day. I'm Dr. Crowley and today we're going to discuss a patient who came in. Uh, they're just a recently post-op and uh, they had a skin cancer, a basal cell cancer, on the edge of their lower lid. So right on the edge of the lower lid was a nodule that turned out to be a basal cell carcinoma and so um, we had to remove that. So we'll go over the steps of, of what we do about skin cancers on the lids. Basal cell carcinomas can occur on the skin on your lid just like it can on any other part of the body and um, the difference is this is sort of a very critical structure whereas on your arm or back or somewhere else it's not that critical about taking a lesion off but if we're talking about taking something out, out of your lid that's a different story. So um, basal cell carcinomas occur on the lids maybe 90% of the time on the lower lid versus the upper lid. This area is more exposed to the sun than the upper lid is so therefore they occur much more often on the lower lid. So the first thing we do when we have a suspicious lesion on the lower lid is we take a small biopsy to see to make sure that's a skin cancer before we go further about looking at removing that. Because if it turned out to be benign we would do very minimal treatment to that area and that would be the end of it. But if it comes out that it's a basal cell carcinoma or a squamous cell carcinoma then we have to go further steps to cure the problem. So what has to be done actually is we have to cut all the way through the lid, all the way through your eyelid, and then we have to go on the other side of that lesion, cut all the way through the lid. So we're taking out like a pie section of your eyelid. And we make sure we have margins, that is there's all the margins are clear. So typically when we do this, we get what's called a frozen section. So we send this to the pathologist right away and we make sure that there's no cancer on the edge of any of the incisions before we would then finish sewing this back up and repairing the lid. So once that's done and we get clear margins then we sew the lid one edge back to the other so we, you, we approximate these lids, sew the skin up and so we can make someone's eyelid look pretty much normal after the surgery's done. Now if it turned out there was not enough laxity in the skin that we get to get the two ends together, which doesn't happen a lot as long as we catch the cancer early and it's not very big, because as we age our lids, lids get sort of slack anyway and so it's usually not a problem. But if, it, if that did occur, that you didn't have enough tissue there to get the, for the lids to meet again, then we'd ins we would go out here to the lateral canthus of the lid, make an incision, and then pull over some of the skin and so we're now bringing a flap over so now we'd have enough uh, laxity that we'd actually uh, get the ends to meet. And this is just sutured together. The stitches are in a couple of weeks uh, and afterwards the lid can look essentially totally normal so we can get a great result uh, and plus cure the lid of, of, of cancer. Um, on rare occasions when people have ignored their growth on their lids and it's a very large cancer then sometimes a whole eyelid has to be reconstructed but that's then a much larger procedure and it's not done very often. So if you have a lesion on your upper or lower lid that you're concerned about and it's, it's been there only for a short period of time and maybe actually getting a little larger then you need to go see an eye doctor and make sure what that is and then if it does look suspicious for a uh, cancer then a biopsy will be done and then if there is a cancer there then the, the, that lesion can be removed. So uh, certainly don't wait around because when they're smaller they're pretty easy to take care of and when they get large then the surgery is much, much bigger. So if you have any questions about basal cell carcinomas or eyelid cancers you can always contact us through the website and in fact you can see where I've treated my cheek here because uh, I had a little skin probably actinic keratosis precursor to um, a skin cancer that I had that I treated so that way it will I got rid of the bad cells so anyway if you have any questions about um, any eyelid lesions or anything else as far as that goes you can always contest, contact us through the website if not, may God bless you with healthy eyes and great vision.